Hey, 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 it's your girl Naturally Yours, aka Zimmy, coming to you with another video. I know you guys have been wondering where have I been, but I have an explanation for it, I promise. So, let me tell you where I've been. Um, Basically, I've been taking the time to remodel my YouTube channel. If you have been a subscriber to my channel from day one, if you go on it now, you would notice that it's more organized and I updated a picture on my profile and it's just pretty much to help those who are new to my channel understand what type of channel it is like you don't want to go on somebody's channel and be like okay well what are you doing are you a singer are you a makeup artist like what are you so I pretty much rearranged my channel around to let newcomers know what type of channel they're going to be investing in so that's where I've been and I also have been taking the time to view my other subscribers channel who has been subscribed to my channel and you know just giving them the love and support that they have shown me from day one so I took some time to do that and I noticed since I've been viewing your videos and commenting on your videos I've noticed that my subscription channel have grew and my views have grew now don't get me wrong I have been viewing and commenting before but a lot of the comments done scraped away from my channel and I had to like figure out how to get into my spam box to improve certain messages and stuff like that so that's where I've been and it's very beneficial so I will recommend you guys to Comment on your other subscribers' channels and let them know that you have been supporting their channel as well. And I guarantee you that they're going to invest in your channel more or take your channel more seriously now. Okay? So that's just a little advice that I will give to you guys. Um, so before I get into today's topic, I would like to take a moment to welcome aboard to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope that you guys um, support me as well and comment and share. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. You guys are so faithful, loyal, and thank you so much for the support. Without you guys, I will not have the courage nor the strength to continue to do videos on a daily basis. So thank you so much. So let's get straight into today's topic. Today's topic is letting go of stressors. Letting go of stressors is very important, especially when it comes to your health. Because for those who do not know, stress can do damage more than anything. It can cause your hair to fall out. It can cause you to have high blood pressure and cause you to have strokes, heart attacks, anything of that nature, you name it, it will cause. So if you really love yourself like you say you do or like you should, you will not allow stressors to stress you out. Also, people can contribute to your stressors, whether they're friends or just people that you interact with on a daily basis. They can cause stress to you and you need to learn how to identify those people and cut them off. It's easier said than done because misery loves company. And if you're not careful, you can be their company. And if they do not have company, they will not thrive on stressing you out. So learn to not entertain those who try to stress you out. Um, you also have to reevaluate re your life. You have to reevaluate your life as opposed to who are for you and, and those who are against you. Just because you call them your friends doesn't mean that they're your friends. Do they support you in your dreams? Do they encourage you to be a bigger person, a better person? Do they invest in your dreams? Meaning if you have a line, whether it's a clothing line or hairline or anything, like myself, I have a YouTube channel. If I go to my friends and tell, tell them that, hey, I have a channel and they're not supporting me and they're not watching me, I'm looking at you like, okay... Well, maybe you're not as a, much of a friend as I thought you were. Friends support your dreams, whether they believe in you or not. Um, sometimes you know your friends better than they know themselves. If you're a type of person that knows the patterning that they have, let's say they come to you with an idea and you know that they had many ideas before and it didn't work out, that is not your place to continue to remind them of that. You can be a friend and let them know, hey, I remember you came to me before and you, you were so adamant about starting something and you never finished. So what makes this any time different from the last time? You can say that, but sometimes it can come off a little snotty. So you want to make sure that you're not doing you're not one of those people who constantly remind them of their failures because that's not going to help, you know. So that can be another stressor to people who do not know how to pick up the pieces where they left off or they don't know how to go about furthering their dream. So instead of them investing and connecting with people, they just rather just forget about that idea and move to something else. Your ideas are all over, all, all, I'm sorry, your ideas are all over the place. So 
So that can cause you to think that you're a failure. It can, t- it can cause you to think that you're not capable of starting something from a baby and growing it into a full grown adult. That can be a stress too. So you just have to learn how to identify whatever it is a stressor in your life and let it go. I encourage you guys to be the best person that you can be. Be better than what you were yesterday. Be better than what you were the day before and in your past. You can't take back things that you have done um, in the past, but what you can do is prevent them from happening into your future. So that's all I wanted to say. I didn't want to make this video super long. I just wanted to show you some key points of, you know, how to eliminate stress in your life. And it can be a lot more other stuff. Um, just think about what stresses in your life and just take the step to delete them out. You know, it's not easy to cut people off. Some people don't know how to be cut off. You know, some people just want to be naggers and they don't even realize that they're nagging you, you know, but when you becoming a mature person, you be like, you know what? You are not the type of person that I want to be and if I don't want to be in my life. So therefore I'm going to have to cut you off. Like you're being cut off. <laughs> So that's that. Um, Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button down below. Hit the bell if you are a new subscriber because if you do not hit the bell, you're not going to see the new content that I'm posting and you will miss out. You don't want to miss out on what I have to offer, baby. So be sure to hit that bell and I'll talk to you guys next week. Love you. Bye.